This question comes from Elon Musk, who asks, what if you dug a hole straight through the earth and jumped in? Let's start with the obvious. It's not possible to actually dig a hole through the entire earth. The earth's crust alone is several miles thick. And beneath that lies the mantle, which is composed of semi-solid rock and the outer and inner cores, which are incredibly hot and made of molten and solid iron and nickel. However, let's imagine for a moment that we could somehow dig this hole. If you were to jump in, gravity would pull you down toward the center of the earth. As you fall, you would start to accelerate, reaching a speed of up to 28,000 kilometers per hour, or about 17,000 miles per hour. That's fast enough to go from New York to Los Angeles in just a few minutes. But here's where it gets interesting. As you approach the center of the Earth, gravity would start to decrease because the mass of the Earth above you would begin to counteract the pull of gravity from below. At the exact center of the Earth, you would be weightless because the gravitational forces from all sides would cancel each other out. You would then continue to move due to your momentum. But now gravity would be pulling you back toward the center. So. As you pass through the center and start moving towards the other side, you would begin to decelerate. By the time you reach the opposite surface, you would have slowed down to a stop just as you reach the exit of the tunnel. If there were no air resistance, you would then fall back again, essentially oscillating back and forth like a pendulum. But air resistance would play a big role here. With the presence of air in the tunnel, you would lose energy to friction and heat, and your oscillations would gradually decrease in amplitude until you eventually came to rest at the center of the Earth. But let's say we somehow managed to remove all the air from the tunnel. You'd continue oscillating back and forth indefinitely, as long as there were no other forces acting on you. In this hypothetical scenario, the trip from one side of the Earth to the other would take about 42 minutes. No matter where you started from, this is known as the gravity train concept. A thought experiment in physics. Of course, this is all highly theoretical. The temperatures at the center of the Earth are estimated to be around 5,000 to 7,000 degrees Celsius, or about 9,000 to 13,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hotter than the surface of the sun. Any material or human traveling through this region would be incinerated almost instantly. In conclusion, while it's a fascinating idea to imagine jumping through a hole in the Earth, the physical realities of our planet make it an impossible feat. But it's fun to dream and think about the possibilities of what could happen in such a wild scenario. And who knows, maybe one day our understanding of physics and technology will allow us to explore such ideas further.